if the evolutionary model is accurate, the ancestors of the human lineage began the Ordovician period as simple jawless fish. By the end of the Ordovician period, they were either primitive jawed fish or the ancestors of the primitive jawed fish. The fossil record of the Ordovician is fragmentary, and fragmentary evidence suggests that jawed fish did exist by the end of the period. During the 40 million years of the Ordovician period, a number of changes would have evolved. A menix would have surrounded uh, the brain. The diencephalon of the brain would have uh, become subdivided. The ancestral immune pathway, which clumped materials around a wound site, uh, would have uh, duplicated to become the precursor to the clotting factor uh, cascade. The ancestral uh, lymphocyte-like cells would have evolved, and by the end of the period, uh, more complex immune mechanisms, including uh, lymphocytes, and the ability to generate antibodies uh, would have evolved. Keratin uh, proteins in uh, the skin would have become more numerous. Kidneys homologous to those that all vertebrates possess, at least as embryos, would have developed. Additional elements of the skull would have uh, evolved, not just the splanchnocranium elements uh, that uh, primitive chordates and primitive jawless fish possessed, but now elements of the condocranium as well, which even humans retain as parts of, say, the ethmoid and sphenoid and occipital bones. Uh, the lens and iris of the eye, the saccule and utricle of the ear, uh, blood vessels uh, which go to the heart, which the earliest fish uh, lacked, all of these would uh, have evolved. Perhaps the most significant thing which would have occurred uh, during the Ordovician period is a second genome duplication when one compares the jawless fish of today with all of the jawed vertebrates. It appears that the transition from jawless fish to jawed uh, vertebrates involved another genome duplication. And this genome duplication allowed the ancestral uh, gill arches uh, to be modified to become the first jaws. And this would have had an enormous impact on the human lineage because uh, these early vertebrates went from uh, being the prey of the invertebrates which ruled the ocean during the day to dominant predators in their own right now that their jaws allowed them to prey on larger items of food. And so the transition of uh, gill arches into uh, jaws, which probably occurred around the time of a genome duplication, uh, was a very significant event which seems to have occurred during the Ordovician period.